It's your girl Taylor and welcome back to another episode of Taylor Talks. I know it's been a hot little minute, but I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Today's inspirational quote is happiness is found when you stop comparing yourself to other people. And yes, this is so true. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal any dark spots that I have on my face. I'm using an LA Pro Girl concealer, which is probably one of my favorites. I'm just gonna blend that out throughout my face, making sure that my skin looks flawless. And I'm using um, my foundation, it's Urban Decay, the All Nighter. And I'm just going to go ahead and stipple that all over my face. I love it because it stays on literally all night long. And then I'm just going to use my LA Pro Girl Concealer again and just go ahead and highlight my face. And I'm blending this out with a beauty blender that needs to be clean like ASAP. Um, just going to go ahead and blend that out as much as possible. Then I'm going to use um, a darker shade, two, or this is probably like three times darker, four maybe. Um, and contour my face with this. Blend it out. And um, this just helps to give a nice gradient effect when I'm um, doing my highlighting and my contouring. And this is what it looks like when everything's all blended out. Um, it has like a nice little canvas. I don't know. It's just nice. So I'm going to go ahead and bake my face or set the foundation with, um, what is this? The um, Laura Mercier um, Translucent Powder. This is probably one of my favorites. It is actually the finest powder um that they have in the world i don't know if you guys knew that but cool fun fact so i'm just going to go ahead and um set it with that and i'm going to go ahead and uh, do my eyebrows right here i needed to focus so i didn't put the whole thing on there but i'm using the anastasia beverly hills um pencil with the little spoolie at the end so that's what that looks like when it's all finished and done and then next going on to the eyes i'm going to take this color and then just go ahead and start off um as my base and kind of use it as a transition color from the highlight under my brow bone all the way to um, my crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out all the way. So moving on, I'm going to take this orange color. This is also a really good color to help transition whatever color that you're using. I've actually found it, except for blue, but any other color, like you can use this. This, this is the stuff right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and transition. Um, that and help blend out the other base color that I just put on there. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take the darker orange color and just kind of help bring out the colors because I'm doing the pink look for this so I want it to have like a nice bold nice transition. I know I said that like three times but anyways so I'm just going to go ahead and take this color and blend it out more so adding it to the outer corners in my crease um, to help create a nice um, effect. Alright, so I'm going to take this brown color and I'm really going to apply this in my crease um, to help give some definition to my eye and some dimension. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. This brush that I'm using right now is the bomb. Like, it is amazing. It's a Bobbi Brown brush. I'll find the name out for you guys if you want to know. But this brush is amazing for blending. Like, I don't really have to change brushes because it's just that good. And then before I move on to add a different color, I'm just going to go ahead and um, blend out the outer corners to make sure that everything is smooth and looking nice and crisp because I hate choppy eyeshadow makeup. Like that is a pet peeve of mine. So this is actually the color that makes it look. So I'm going to take that rustic brown oranges color and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my outer corners um, and then blend it into the crease. This color really helps add drama to the look. And, and in my personal opinion, I think that this um, color actually really helps to pull the look together. Um, because this color is so important for this look, in my opinion, I really tried to focus on blending it out and making sure that everything was kind of seamless between the different colors that I've used already. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Naked palette and use the color Buzz. And I'm just going to apply this color all over my lid. 
And then moving on, I'm going to take uh, the next color and dust and apply that in my in the corners of my eyes um, just to add some nice variety because everything else is blended out perfectly so why not add something to the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and add some highlighter to my brows and um, this, I don't know the name of the color but I can figure it out for you guys. I think it kind of rubbed off the bottom. Anyways, I'm just going to apply that underneath my brow bone and um, blend that into the rest of the eyeshadow. So this next um, step is my favorite actually because it kind of pulls everything together. So I'm going to use this um, NYX palette, the contour palette, and just go over where I contoured my face to kind of set that into place because we already did the powder for the highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and set my contour. And then I'm just going to take a regular brush and blend out the um, excess powder that I had from when I set my face for the highlight and just make sure that everything is kind of seamless before I go ahead and add anything else. So to add some more drama to this look, I'm going to take Buzz and apply it to the bottom of my lashes um, just to add something special to make this look really pop. Then I'm going to take the dust again and add it to the inside of um, the tear duct, I guess. So I'm going to add it on the inside of my eye to help blend out what I did to the top of my eyeshadow. So then I'm going to take this shimmery color and I'm going to actually apply that also on the inside because the dust didn't really do enough for me so I added some more. Sparkle! And then I'm going to use this rustic color and apply that on the outside of the outer corners of my lash line just to kind of blend in what I did at the top of the crease. So I'm going to take that and kind of connect it all the way up to the top. So then I'm just going to go ahead and line my eyes. You can do a wing with this look if you're looking for something super dramatic but I personally just didn't feel like drawing one so I didn't um, and yeah anyway I got time for that. So moving on I didn't want to use lashes I'm going to use this telescopic mascara by L'Oreal and go ahead and apply that to my lashes and um, this mascara is amazing and I'm going to top that off with Big Satty. I don't even think that's how you say it but I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> apply that to my lashes as well. You guys can read the label it's from Urban Decay. But, um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that and then apply that to my bottom. Then I'm going to take this darker color. I literally cannot find my eyeliner pencil. I'm going to probably have to get a new one. But in the meantime, I'm using this shadow and I'm just going to apply that to um, the waterline on the inside of my lower lashes. Then this bronzer I got from Victoria's Secret. I do not know the name of it. I just know it's amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up my face. And I'm going to use the bronzer in this Anastasia kit. The highlighted kit and just go ahead and kind of go over that again. Then my favorite part, I'm using this color um, for my highlighter just because it kind of pulls in the pink tones from the eyeshadow that I used earlier. And look at that. <laughs> that looks, that's popping. Okay. So anyway, so I'm just going to use the highlighter and do that all over my face. So now it's time to do the lips. I'm using these three colors to help create um, an ombre effect. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use a darker color and I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. Um, I find it's easier to help blend out things instead of switching from different colors and it just helps create like an even canvas um, before I start blending. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... So next I'm just going to go in with a light brown, um, the lip color, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the inside of my lips to have a nice ombre effect. And then once I finish that, I'm going to go in with this hot pink color and apply it on the very inside of my lips. Not too much, guys, because you want it to look like a nice gradient effect between the different lip colors. And honestly, that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix my hair. And that's the final look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I got this hat from a website called goddessdope.com. You guys should check them out. Um, they have really cool stuff. Hope you guys like the video. I'll be posting more stuff. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. And hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.